velocity and speed uh, speed measurements the three input capture pins with multiple modes for pulse width and frequency measurements and this has interrupt on change feature used for hall sensor interface that we are going to see in coming section when we see how to control a VLDC motor using hall sensors let us quickly see how a brushless DC motor can be controlled to a drive and what is the drive topology. Before moving on to this, uh, let me give a brief introduction of brushless DC motor, how it is constructed and wh what are its features. A brushless DC motor is a synchronous motor that finds numerous applications in mo motion control. Appliances, automotives, aerospace, industrial automation are few industries to list. These come with different torque and voltage ratings. A brushless DC motor has windings on stator and alternate permanent magnets on the rotor. Brushless DC motors are electronically commutated based on the rotor position with respect to the stator windings. This means to run a brushless DC motor an electronic drive is required. Normally three Hall effect sensors are mounted on the stator that are used to determine the rotor position. The Hall effect, Hall effect sensors give a combination of high and low signals when they pass next to the rotor pole. With this combination of Hall effect sensor inputs, the commu commu commutation sequence can be de determined and we will see in a while how we can determine the commu uh, commutation sequence and how we can control the brushless DC motor. A typical control circuit with the three phase winding connected is shown in this figure. Here three phases phase A, phase B, and phase C are connected to a three phase inverter bridge having the switches H1, H2, H3 and L1, L2, L3 are shown in this figure. H1, H2, H3 are connected to a positive DC bus or power supply which is having positive direction and L1, L2, L3 are connected to DC minus or the return path. <coughs> Stator windings A, B and C are connected in star fashion to this inverter. In coming slides, we will see how these stator windings are energized in synchronous with the half sensor input. This slide here sh shows what is the se switching sequence that should be followed based on the half sensor input. With three Hall sensors on the motor, every 60 degree of electrical cycle, a Hall sensor makes a transition either from low to high or high to low as seen here. Every 60 degrees, a Hall sensor makes a transition at this point and the Hall sensor sequence changes from uh, one to next. With this, every, every electrical cycle has six steps to complete one full cycle, that is 60 degree per uh, sequence so six steps per 360 degrees of electrical cycle. The energizing sequence will have six combination of on and off of the six switches that we saw in the previous slide. A typical switching sequence is shown here. This table gives a typical example of switching sequence. The Hall sensor inputs are at 120 degrees phase shift to each other. If you see here each of these Hall sensors makes 120 uh, makes a transition and they are at 120 degrees to each other. So Hall A makes a transition here and Hall B makes a transition from low to high at this point which is at 120 degrees phase shift to uh, Hall A and Hall C makes a transition at 240 degrees with respect to Hall A and 120 degrees with respect to Hall B input. Every sequence has two windings connected across the power supply and third winding left open. If you see the sequence, uh, example of sequence here, every uh, phase has two windings connected to connected across the power supply and third left open. Considering the first step where Hall sensor input is 101, here Hall A is 1, Hall B is 0 and Hall C is 1 as it is seen here. Hall A is 1, Hall B is 0, and Hall C is 1. The switching sequence says that 
phase C should be connected to positive of DC bus and phase B should be connected to negative of DC bus and phase A should be left open. In order to achieve this, switches S3 and L2 should be on or they should be uh, they should be connected or closed and all other switches should be open or off. This will make the hall sensor to this, this will turn the motor by 60 degrees electrical in a given direction. So by turning on S3 and L2, the ro motor, the rotor will rotate by 60 degrees and this will make the hall sensor to make another transition triggering the next point on the sequence table and so on. So once these two phases are energized, the rotor will rotate by 60 degrees and the next uh, sequence will be hit by, uh, by the hall sensors. So this is the time, uh, that is the time to energize the next uh, winding, that is phase A and phase B and phase C should be left open. So this should be continued to allow motor to run in one direction. But the electrical cycle and shaft rotation have a definite relation. The relation is the electrical cycle repeats every rotor pole phase. So to complete one rotation on the shaft, these six steps should be repeated as many times as rotor pole phase. In the sequence, if the sequence is followed with rated motor voltage across the motor windings, motor will run at rated speed. But the aim is to control the speed. So speed can be controlled using PWMs by PWMing each switch according to the speed required. This we will see in coming section how we can uh, control the speed of a BLDC motor. The phase current waveform looks trapezoidal as seen here. It is in trapezoidal, uh, it varies in trapezoidal with the 120 degree phase shift to each other. So phase A makes a transition here from uh, zero to high or low to high and phase B makes a transition here and they are at 120 degree phase shift to each other and they are uh, they are in trapezoidal they are trapezoidal in shape let us see how we can interface epic 18f xx31 to control a brushless dc motor this slide shows the hardware interface used for controlling a brushless DC motor. PWM0 to PWM5 here. Control 6 power switches connected to make a three phase inverter bridge as we have seen earlier. DC supply to the inverter bridge can be derived, derived either from a DC power so supply or power source or 